Hello everyone, welcome to this video on PLC programming using Cadesis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to basically start with the Cadesis soft motion. For that, we are going to create a new project. You can give a name to it. I'm going to call it soft motion example or tutorial. So it's basically up to you. Tutorial 01 as a an standard project and then for the uh, language I'm going to use CFC because it's uh, let's say easier for the purpose of this tutorial but you can use any obviously and as the device I'm going to use the Cardesis soft motion Win V3 X64 okay indeed you can choose any and later update it but uh, there's no point in that, in my opinion. Okay, now we have our project opened. Over here, you can see that if you compare it with the normal cases that we have uh, projects for the codices, you have here the soft motion general axis pool. The first step is to come over here, right click on it, and then choose the add device. In the add device, you over here, you can see the virtual drive, virtual drives, and you can select the sm underline drive underline virtual and give it a name. I'm going to give it the name of axis 01. Okay. You can have multiple of them indeed in a project. But we need only one for the purpose of this tutorial. So I will close indeed this dialog. And over here we have the axis underline 01. If you double click on it, you will see a set of properties for it. I may come back to it later, but for now you can just leave it like that. And then you can double click on the PLC underline PRG, the main program that we are going to use. Uh, as I already mentioned, the programming language for this is the CFC continuous function chart. And then to start over, we just need to insert an empty box here. Then for the empty box, we need to determine the the function yeah, that it needs to to indeed execute. As for the first uh, function block, I'm going to use mc underline power. So you can see that it's here sm3 underline basic. It's from the library called sm3 underline basic, and the function is called mc underline power. MC underline power is indeed used in order to power a uh, power and access in it. Power a drive, yeah. So if I click on it, then enter, I need to have an instance of this function, and therefore I using the auto declare, I'm going to declare it. And you can see it over here as well. So before moving forward, maybe I can show you in the library manager that we have now the SM3 libraries included in our project as well. Because I, that's because of the device that I have uh, chosen right at the beginning was the soft motion in it. Okay, so if we go back to uh, our program, you see here the MC power underline zero instance of the MC underline power. The first input to it is the axis. To provide the axis, I'm going to bring an input element into the project, into the code indeed, connect it to the axis input, and we also need to associate it with an axis. Over here we have a single axis, and you can see it over here, yeah? Axis underline zero one is the one that I have created indeed. I added to the project over here. So by clicking on OK and then pressing Enter on the keyboard, you see that it is now uh, connected. Now we have several other inputs, enable, regu regulator on and the drive start. In order to have the axis enabled and get power done, we need to provide true to all these three. And then we have a set of outputs. One way to process it would be to create an input for each one of these inputs. And then 
an output for each one of the outputs and then we we would need to declare all of them over here but the nice thing about the the soft motion is that you can in it create if you have a visualization which i assume we will most likely have then in the visualization you will see that a new a set of visualization elements are provided and those visualization elements will make uh, using this kind of functions that we just imported one much easier i will show you just in a few seconds once we have it so we have the visualization in the visualization toolbox over here if i open the S you can first of all you can see that we have smc basics smc sm3 basic sm3 cnc sm3 robotics visual image pool underline sm3 so those are the new things in it that we have yeah initially we didn't have them if you click on sm3 basics we have the linear drive vertical or or horizontal i'm going to use the vertical one for now when i want to insert it this uh, window pops up and it is looking for the axis that the element is associated with and it's axis 0 1 the only one that i have here clicking on ok and ok again we have it set up now in order to provide the inputs to the mc underline power we can come over here you can find it over here or you just type mc underline power and you will see the associated visualization elements over here there are two of them indeed one is the visio underline mc underline power and the other one is a new version of it indeed so there's basically no difference uh, between using any of them i'm going to use the new one for now again when i want to place it in the visualization i need to associate it with the function and you can see the only option that we have here is the mc underline power underline zero that we have declared already clicking on ok we have it here then for the with this we can indeed uh, power on our axis yeah power on power on the drive but then we want to move it so in order to move it let's come back to the main program let's insert a box an empty box here i'm going to show you two kind of movements the first one is called the move relative and the second one is called move absolute so we follow the similar approach mc underline move and over here you see the options so the first one that i'm going to select is move absolute we need to declare an instance of mc underline move absolute i just keep the name as it is and the first input to it is also axis so i connect it to the same axis in it now you see that there are multiple inputs and multiple outputs for this similar to mc underline power we can in our visualization we can insert a visualization element which is called mc underline move absolute and we have two versions of it the new and the old i'm going to pick the new one and similar to mc underline power we just need to associate it with a proper function or proper instance of the function clicking on okay we have it over here let me set the system into the simulation mode over here we have the in the simple function let's see what happens when we try to move to use the move absolute and then i will show you how to move how to use the move relative one as well so i just i'm just trying to log in and then i will 
run the project. Okay, so here we go. In order to start the, the, the drive, we need to enable it and then set the regulator on and the drive start. Now it is indeed ready to to operate. The drive is ready to operate. We can prepare provide a position over here. Where do we want the drive to to move? I'm going to give 450. For the velocity, we need to provide some positive value. I've set 50, so it you can try different values. Huh? For the acceleration, I set 20, and for deceleration, 20. And for the jerk, I'm going to use 10. If you keep zero for these values, the default values will be selected, will be used in it. And the direction for this kind of uh, movement, which is linear, is not important. So we are not going to to use any of these options. We, we can just leave it like that. Later, I might show you how how to do it for the rotational indeed movements. Now, if I click on enable, execute indeed, you see that the drive is in the BZ mode first of all. So it is moving and it will move until it reaches 450 in terms of the position. And then at that point, the done output will become true. I can change the value to 230. And over here, we need to provide a rising edge yeah, for the execute input of the MC underline move absolute. There is a need to have a rising edge. So I set it back to off and another value 400. And you can see that it is moving. So this is how, what we have for the move absolute. Let me quickly show you how we can have the move relative as well. I'm going to bring another empty box here and then look for MC underline move relative, which is over here. Declare an instance of it. Connect the axis to the axis input to the same axis and then switch to the visualization. In the visualization toolbox, look for mc underline move relative again we have two options the old one and the new one i'm going to use the new one for now and similar to what we did for the previous visualization items i'm going to select the move mc move relative underline zero and indeed that's it okay now we can log in again And you will see how the movements are done when we try to do it using the, the move relative. Okay, now we are in the run mode. Uh, okay, let me see if I can fit everything here. Okay, now we are, we are here. We are in the run mode. Just keep in mind that I can try with by indeed providing some value over here, like 100, velocity 50, acceleration 30, deceleration 30, jerk 10, let's say. And then I can try to press the execute in order to have the movement here. Yeah, but you can see that there's an error coming out with an error ID 34. I guess you know why it happens because we haven't enabled our axis yet. So if I click on all of this, you see that now we have the system enabled and then I'm going to execute the movement. So 100 is executed in terms of distance and you can see the direction. It moves downwards each time that I click and click on the execute and provide the rising edge the movement is performed. You can also provide, let's try setting minus 100 to see whether it goes backwards or not. And you see, yeah, so it happened. So with the relative movement, I guess you got the idea. From wherever you are, you move 
backward or forward by the amount which is provided in terms of the distance. But with the move absolute, you just provide the exact value, exact location that you want to go. Let's provide value for acceleration and deceleration. And then the system moves to the exact position. And once it reaches there, the execution is done. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. I guess it would help you as an introduction to the soft motion. Uh, in the next videos, hopefully I will show you more about different functions which are available, maybe regarding the rotational movement and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos.